Yo, this iPhone camera shows like every little tiny thing on my face, but we'll take it because there's memory in this phone. Anyway, let's go this way. Today's strawberry letter response. It's your girl Secret D. Good morning. So I'm gonna make it quick. So today's letter is written by a woman who said that her husband's best friend, Mel, is going through a divorce right now. Um, she said his wife and her are not really the best of friends, but it is what it is, right? So she said that she was running her errands one day and she happens to see her husband's best friend's wife in a car well she saw her car right then in the driver's seat she sees a man a whole man and then when the lady finally reappeared from wherever she was she said that she you know saw her they spoke she asked her and she basically said something like oh my cousin needed to charge his phone or what have you and this that and the other because y'all know that when somebody gets caught with a chick or a male it always becomes a family member that nobody never heard about right so he needs to charge his phone you know she left it alone and so of course she went home to tell her husband this tea and her husband of course told his best friend then shortly after that she gets a phone call and this lady is cussing her out and all of these things and um she's trying to figure out what she did wrong basically she was saying if you know if it was her she would want to know so yeah i mean there's really nothing to tell here there's no advice to give here you should have mind your business i mean long story short mind the business that pays you don't get into people's business especially marital business um i assume you don't really like the girl you said you wasn't really close with her and i'm assuming that's why you told your husband because if that was like your little bff or whatever maybe you wouldn't have told um you did start off the letter by saying that you don't like people who um lie and you don't allow people to lie in front of you and all that good stuff so maybe that's part of the reason why you told or maybe you told us that because you didn't want us to judge you for not minding your business but either way, you was messed up for doing that. You shouldn't have done to that girl. You knew what was gonna happen. It's not like, oh, let me just tell my husband. That's your husband's best friend. And you know your husband. So you knew your husband was gonna tell and you want him to tell. Cause that's basically it. So stop acting like you don't know what you did. Stop acting clueless. Stop acting like you're a victim here. And you don't understand why she's pissed. And start minding your business. That's all, bye.